Hi, I'm Naftali Santos, and today we're going to take a deeper look into the optics of the 3DLP 9000 light engine. The optics of the 3DLP 9000 can be categorized into three major sections. The illumination block, easily identifiable because that's where you find the LED, and it mounts onto the main body, which holds the DMD that steers the light to the projection lens. Let's take a closer look at each. The illumination block places a uniform or collimated beam of light on the DMD through the TIR prism. We offer the most common wavelengths for 3D printing, 365, 385, and 405 nanometers. However, the 3DLP9000 works between 365 and 460 nanometers. It currently uses LEDs, but we have plans to include fiber optics as well as lasers. The main body pulls together all of the optics. The WQXGA DMD is mounted onto it. Inside the main body is the prism that steers light onto and out from the DMD through the projection lens. Also inside is a collar mechanism that holds the projection lens in place. Our initial projection lens creates an image with pixel sizes between 75 and 125 microns with less than 0.2% distortion and 90% uniformity. Different image sizes and adapters are in our future plans. You can contact us for more information on our upcoming options. Conveniently, the opening for the projection lens is compatible with Thor Labs SM2 tubes, giving you the possibility to develop your own projection lens. You will also find SM3 threads at the end of our projection lens. Again, allowing you to create adapters easily. Now that you have a better understanding of the optics, check out our video on focusing your 3D LP9000 to truly experience the adaptability and ease of use that this light engine has to offer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos that guide you through basics of setting up and using your 3D LP9000 light engine. Let us know if there is anything you want us to cover in our next video or if you have questions on other steps.